Meet Alex and Stacey, the Meringue Girls. They are the definitive voice for all things meringue. Is that a word? They've got pop-ups all over London. They've written two cookbooks. They make over a thousand meringue kisses every week. And all the meringues on this meringue bow are real. They are here today to show us eight, eight steps to mastering perfect, perfect meringues. meringues. Step one, make sure your bowl is completely clean. Any grease will affect the volume of the egg whites. The best way to achieve this is with a bit of lemon and kitchen towel. Step two, heat the sugar in the oven at 200 degrees until it's hot to the touch. This should take about seven minutes. It's bang in the middle of the French and the Italian method, but we think it's the best and it's mega easy. Step three, whilst your sugar's heating in the oven, whisk your egg whites. We use liquid egg whites, but if you're separating your egg whites at home, make sure you don't get any yolk in the mix. The key here is to start off slow, allowing small, stabilizing bubbles to form. Slowly but surely turn up your machine, and when you've got about 30 seconds to go with your sugar, Whack it up to full speed. Step four, very slowly add the hot sugar to the stiff egg whites, one teaspoon at a time. If you add it too quickly, it will deflate the volume. When all the sugar's in, keep whisking for another five to six minutes until it's completely smooth and there's no granules between your fingers. By following these tips, you're doing everything in your power to maximize volume and get a lovely stiff and glossy mixture. Step five, coloring your meringue. We paint stripes on the inside of our piping bag. And to make it easier, turn it inside out and pop it over a bottle. Step six, flavoring your meringue. <laughs> you can get really creative. Some of our faves include watermelon, beetroot and chocolate, and gin and tonic. Meringues are very temperamental. You can't add too much liquid or oils. So when you're flavoring meringues, use very intense flavorings. We use things such as freeze-dried powders, really intense essences. And if you're using cocoa or nuts, add them very sparingly to the mixture and add loads on top. Step seven, piping your meringues. To pipe small meringues, we call them kisses. Chop a 50 piece size hole at the tip of your piping bag. Then hover over a lime baking tray. And the most important thing now is to squeeze, then release the pressure and pull up to get that perfect peak. Step eight, bake your meringues. Bake low and slow for 35 to 40 minutes for this size. And you can tell when they're done, when they come off the baking paper with their bases intact. So there you have it. Eight simple steps to creating the perfect meringue. Only thing left now is to eat it. Which I hope is my cue. I've been waiting patiently for these. They look stunning. <gasps> can we break into one? Yeah. I'm just going to pop it in the Malawi. Shell on the outside, soft uh -huh. on the inside. Good, right? Oh yeah. Well thanks for coming down and sharing all those really top tips. If you want more from the girls, then don't forget to check out their Instagram feed. The link's down below. Loads of colours, shapes, flavours, all sorts. Cheers, Ben. Thanks you for having us. Come back anytime. <laughs>